Hey guys, it's Ape May Rain. You are looking awesomely beautiful today. Guys, I just wanted to make this video really, really quickly to talk to you guys about this new mouse that I just got. I've had it for about a week now. This is the M65 RGB Elite Pro. And I upgraded this mouse from a Glaive. If you guys are familiar with Glaive products or Corsair's products, the Glaive is the most popular mouse I would say Corsair has. And it was a big mouse, even with the interchangeable sides, which this does not have. Interchangeable sides I really liked, but it still didn't get small enough to where I can kind of claw grip it. I mean, I don't even play a lot of FPSs, and this is more geared towards the first-person shooter kind of gamer. But... More, it was about the color. I wanted something white. If, if you guys haven't been watching my channel, white is uh, definitely a prevalent appearance in my brand. And the dark base, or the dark, I think it's called, like, yeah, the, the, the wireless mouse that Corsair has wasn't in white yet. So I was like, I need a white mouse. And I found this guy. And this guy is, for me, rare. And I'll explain it later. But you guys got to keep watching because I'll show you some stuff besides going through the features and physical appearance and all that. But I just want to make this video really quickly. So I got to start got to start talking about it. So um, first of all, immediately when you take it out of the box, you will feel this material, which is way something I've never really felt before. It almost feels recycled. Um, already the grip feels really nice because I'm, I'm more of like the claw grip. So if you like kind of smaller mice, um, this is kind of the way to go. This is almost a gloss kind of feel, which I didn't think I would like, but I started getting really used to it. Um, of course, you guys know the buttons on the side. This is our, our kind of sniper button. Um, if you see, very kind of similar to the same style of Corsair. They have a lot of metal incorporated. I'm going to show you guys the lights now. There's a nice three prone fan like a kind of like thin light in the back i can actually switch through some colors that i just have like um in profile of keys if you guys you know play fortnite there's my fortnite kind of i have the purple for for uh for buildings and stuff like that um actually you can actually see i even have some lights in there and i actually have some other lights that are turned off but going back to the basic kind of look of the mouse uh let's just go back to basic white um, you got another nice white light in here. This scroll wheel I'm loving because it is way kind of more tactile feeling than the one that I had on the Glaive. And that's pretty much it. It kind of goes around the side um, with that same kind of material. And yeah, it's more like the white and silver. There's also this uh, um, ability to customize the weight, which I've actually not even like taken these out. But already out of the box, I was like, this is a fine enough weight. Um, if I'm going to actually show you guys the box. Corsair has been doing great stuff with their boxing recently. Uh, if you guys can, if you guys can't really see, but this is that same kind of feel. Like if I felt both of these, the same kind of like glossy texture. And of course it has that nice, um, you know, I don't, I don't, like it, it convexes convexes or concave whichever one it comes it definitely comes it protrudes i don't like using that word uh per protrudes it protrudes a little bit so corsair is definitely getting um control freak definitely getting uh their boxes just just this branding is great um if you guys can actually see there i mean i probably could take them out for you guys but uh, i don't think i could do that with one hand i'm trying to like envision myself like putting you under my chin and trying to take these out but that's, I mean, there's there's some features that you get with the mouse, um, boxes, very standard, but new for, for Corsair stuff. Um, let me talk to you about the rarity. So I'm on, let me just get on, I'm on Corsair's site right now. So here's this kind of mouse, you know, the, the M65. It doesn't say Pro, which is what the other mice that Corsair have that is the same, this kind of like this guy, which is different so there's the pro right there so it's a different mouse and i can't stress this enough because i went on of course i look up everything on ebay or not ebay amazon if i paste this exact you know this exact like all of this if i went into corsair's site hit this hit white it also comes in black hit white copy and pasted this into amazon it does not show up at all. So that's extremely rare for, for any kind of product that is out, even with, you know, even with Corsair's website being most of its priority stuff is on Amazon. Um, this shows up, but this is not the same mouse. Even if I click the white, you guys can already tell there's a kind of weird button there. There's the Corsair logo there. And then this 
uh, I want to see the sniper button is way, way kind of in the middle of the mouse where in here is way more forward and closer to your thumb. And I really enjoy that it's there. I can actually show you guys uh, or try to. If I'm moving around my mouse, if you guys can hear the click, there, there it is. So that's what the sniping, boom. Boop, there it is. Oh, so weird. Anyways, yeah, this is basically the mouse. I would say it's rare because it's just not, I just don't see it online yet, and there's not a lot of stuff. If I if I even put it into YouTube, this doesn't show up. I, I, want, I was like, I want to see how this white, like white mouse looks on a setup, and, and, thing, and I've never used this kind of like, you know, I think they just like tunable mouse is what they kind of call it, where you can kind of adjust the weights and stuff like that, so... I think that's pretty much it. I want to say um, if there's anything else I would, would say about this mouse is um, if you're looking for this kind of white setup or, or even if you're going from the glaive and you want something a little tighter, this is definitely the way to go. Otherwise, I really could strongly recommend going wireless. I, I think the next version of this will be wireless. I'm kind of jumping the gun. I mean, I got it Cyber Monday, so it was maybe 15% off, so... Um, and been using it since then. So yeah, it's been a great mouse. I haven't done um, too much first person shooter stuff, but you could program these keys to be like, so if I go into Fortnite, you can already see this turns like that kind of Fortnite purple. This is now, um, you know, my, my pickaxe and this will be like my weapon or my first weapon and stuff like that. Or I can even probably make this like first weapon. There's things you can do with DPI up here. Um, I, I don't know if I mentioned the light that is up there and the light that's in here, but I turned it off for, for Fortnite. So yeah, it's kind of, oh, I didn't even notice there's there's cool honeycomb shapes in there. It definitely feels like a premium recycled material, which is I, as a consumer, as someone that buys products, um, you know, Apple's doing a lot of this where they're using, you know, the, the recycled materials from other parts that they have or like, you know, th this could be made out of, entirely out of compost, which is great as a consumer to feel like, oh, you're buying something, you know, that is you know, the, like n no forests were harmed during the production of this or whatever. And it just, it feels better just to have, you know, that, that like, oh, okay, you know, the company's probably saving a lot of money using this material, but yet again, you feel like, oh, it's a, it's a, it's, a, you know, you're helping the world. I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point, but boom, there it is guys. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos from me, um, yeah, just hit that like button, subscribe, whatever. Just want to make this video really quickly, but it ended up being like eight minutes. I am sorry guys. Anyways, stay awesome and beautiful. And as always, hope I'll see you once again.